character of the week. Happy New Year, everybody. We're back. Today's today's character week is a uh, mystical and demonic presence in the Marvel Comics lore, Shumagraph. And no, that's not the lead singer to Sugar Ray. He predates the Earth history as one of the rulers of the Earth, um, demanding sacrifices, human sacrifices, until a time-traveling wizard banished him into like, uh, another dimension. Time-traveling wizard from the 30-something century. It, it, it's too early for this, but go ahead and do it. Because comics. Good coffee. Coffee's so good. <laughs> yes, a time-traveling wizard. <sighs> Shermer Garath has been involved with a lot of Marvel comics, especially in the mystic side. He's been a pain in their side for a long time. As I said before, he used to reside on Earth. He used to rule Earth. Earth was one of his many dimensions he was part of. He's one of the four creatures known as the multi-angular uh, creatures, which means their presence are in multiple dimensions. Their mere presences are in multiple dimensions, even his home dimension, the Cancerverse. The way I think of it is, uh, or is described as a good analogy by someone, is think of the multiverse as like a brick wall. Each dimension that we can think of, Earth 616, Ultimate Universe, you know, place where Spider-Ham is from, think of all those dimensions as bricks. And the Cancerverse is kind of like a world in between worlds so it's like the mortar in between the bricks there you go how's that for an analogy speaking of dr strange um, if you've seen a trailer for multiverse of madness the reason why i bring up shuma garath as character of the week is because there's been talks of gargantos being in the movie now gargantos is often confused with shuma garath because one eye tentacle monsters all look alike here's the difference Gargantos is a sea creature first appeared in some mariner and he's one eyed tentacle somewhat powerful creature, but not nearly as intelligent. Shimmer Garath is a one-eyed tentacle creature that's also green, but has spikes. Boom. Often sometimes confused with Starro too, but that's a starfish, not tentacle. So once again, boom. <sighs> he was also present in um, Fear Itself storyline, and that was like 2011. He was one of those demons that was featured in there. Powers include teleportation, levitation, energy projection, shape-shifting, astral plane, reality warping, uh, sky's the limit because, you know, he's demonic and magic. So, I mean, geez, what, whatever the writer wants to think that it can do, they can do. He has battled and bested and is often uh, up there with the likes of Mephisto, uh, Dormammu, Satanish, uh, who else? Like, uh, again, a lot of these top-tier mystic people that you can think of, Shrimagarath is up there with them, battling the likes of them, you know, eight arms and all. Now, one of the abilities of Shrimagarath is also kind of making... I won't say clones, but duplicates that turn into subservient um, creatures or entities of them. So oftentimes, when people think they defeated Shuma Garaz, it's actually defeated some of his um, clones or servants that look identical to him. I oh, describe that just because of comics. I have a headache, y'all. Can't think this much. So yeah, Shuma Garaz, uh, super powerful. Might be in a movie, may not be in Multiverse of Madness. Who knows if the writers got it wrong and misquoted, or people are drawing straws and people said that is what. Who knows? Again, I have a headache. Hey, I got a question for y'all. How y'all feel about if Starro was to fight Shermer Garath? How would that look? Put that in the comment section. See what y'all think. Here the dog. Back to you guys. Like, share, subscribe. <laughs>